Hello everyone. Um, I was asked to make a quick little tutorial on how to use Google Slides for interactives for your classrooms, um, for your Google Classroom. So I went ahead and started a one so then you guys can quickly see it. it does take a little bit of time. I purchase all of my clip art off of Teachers Pay Teachers, but you can always um, Google it. They have a lot of Google pictures that you can um, search that are for free. But again, I like to purchase mine on Teachers Pay Teachers. So the first thing I like to do is make like a title page of my slide. All of this is movable, um, but I don't want it to be. So what you do is you click File. You're on the slide you want. Click Download. Um, click the PNG image and see how it instantly downloads. Then you add a new slide, and I want a blank one. Click background, choose background, and then what I do is I just drag that image I just downloaded right into it, done. And now here it is, you can't touch any of it, like it's permanently the background. So on the original image, how you can move things around, um, edit in my text. I don't want the kids to mess with any of it. So then what I kind of do is just um, delete that slide. So now I have my permanent slide. It's my intro page. They can't do anything to it. The next page I like to do is like a direction page, um, just saying what it is. Again, all of these images are movable, but I don't want anything on the slide to be movable. So again, I will hit file download the PNG image. It should download the whole image, yep. Then I'm going to have a new slide. Again, I want it blank because I don't want anything on it. Click background, choose my image. And again, this fancy little trick, you just drag your image right there that has been downloaded. Boom, showed up, there it is. Not a thing is movable, and I delete my original image. Now, don't always delete your original image in case you want to go back and edit it because you messed up on something or you want to tweak it. So then the third slide and the slides after is what I make interactive. I wanted them to sort the images, so these are movable. Now, I don't want this image itself to be movable, but I want the pieces of sorting to be movable. So I will file, download, PNG. I'm going to add a slide. I'm going to leave this original one um, just in case I want to come back to it. So I'm not going to delete it right away. The other ones I was set and pretty happy with. Um, that's why I went ahead and deleted them. Choose image, I'm gonna take that and drag it. Done. Now, this background part is not movable, which is what I wanted, but I want the interactive pieces to be movable, so I'm gonna come over to my clip art. Uh, again, um, these are things that I have purchased off of Teacher Pay Teacher. All right, let's do maybe a duck. Drag my duck onto there. Um, I'm going to put them over here. Uh, these are all springtime images that I, like I said, purchased. How about a little boy with an umbrella? It rains a lot in spring. It's been raining a lot, a lot, a lot recently. Okay, so now I'm going to put some winter items. Yeah, snowman. He's adorable. Okay, how about a sled is that what i see yeah i want the colored one not the black and white image again you can find any images on google and save them and download um i prefer the transparency ones just because they have that um, clear background so when he does move it up there it kind of blends into the scene uh snowflake yeah okay so then I'm gonna just call this good. You can put as many, obviously, images. So now they have the images down here that they know to drag up. I could add extras, I could do whatever I want. Um, now that is the movable piece. This is not movable, this is not movable. 
Um, but the the background scene is not movable, just the character. So when I assign it into my Google Classroom, I have another one for example. Um, when I assign it into my Google Classroom, and when they click on it, uh, the only things that they can move are the pieces I want them to move, and then they will sort it. This is our money one that we're doing. Um, again, my directions. I added a link. This, nothing else is movable except that link. You can click on the link. So, and this is an image in the background I got from Google, like I said. And again, my direction page. So these are not movable over here. My arrow is, um, ooh, is, ooh, I should go back and set that. But, so now they can take them and sort. So just the pieces I want to be movable are movable, and that trick is to make it your background. So I hope this helps. Um, if you need any ideas or uh, suggestions, there's lots out there. There's lots in Teachers Pay Teachers. I also screenshot a lot of um, my worksheets that I needed. A lot of my curriculum is hands-on. Yeah, here's one that's screenshotted. So a lot of my curriculum is hands-on from my special ed curriculum and they don't have a digital format of it so I have turned it digital um yeah so we would have like this worksheet and then all of these pieces over here you would have to pick one and cut so this is not movable however just the pieces are so like that well you could have paid with it with the teddy bear money you would pay with it with money do you see how that works so um what you do is you get your background set what you want not movable and then you just add it as the background and then um yeah, as the background and then you go in and add your pieces that you want movable so i hope this helps um it's pretty easy the trick like i said is just adding it as a background and downloading it as an image. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Sarah Emmert. All right. Thank you and have a wonderful day.